Yesterday in history, we had Gagnon style. We also had Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and we also had the crossword puzzle, Bless Us. December 21st is a, is a date that has a lot of very, very, you know, um, heartwarming stories in history. Um, we, let's start with, you know, Snow White and the Seven mm. Dwarfs. It is Walt Disney's, uh, one of Walt Disney's most successful uh, productions uh, right from their history. They started in 1923, but the Snow White um, animations, uh, you know, was released uh, today in 1937. It was titled Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And, uh, of course, it premiered at the Carthay Circle Theatre theater in Los Angeles. Um, its nationwide release was on the 4th of February 1938. Um, its initial um, earnings, international earnings, was as high as $8 million. And think about 1937 and an animation making as much as $8 million back then. It eventually, of course, grossed as much as $1.93 billion. If you don't know the story of Snow White, uh, there was a remake. Not, not There's, long always, ago. There's a always a remake. remake. Every decade, yes. they will come up with a remake of it. The, the amazing part of this story is the fact that the, the, the person who... Um, directed and wrote the film, mm. didn't have a lot of people believing in him. They felt that it, who would be watching animation, even his own wife, <laughs> did not believe that he was going to make money um, out of it. But fortunately for him, it became a landslide. It became, it became a, a monster hit. Uh, it's a story of a, a very pretty girl. Who, who is the fairest who was, of them all. Had to live with her aunt, who was a, a wicked queen. Um, and um, you know the the aunt you know wakes up every morning, looks at the mirror, and asks, uh, uh, "Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all?" And the mirror always used to say, "You, you, my queen, are the fairest." Until Snow White became old enough, or you know. Um, maybe at some age, you know, in her life, she became, of course, even more beautiful than the queen. Uh, the queen, of course, then found out that, uh, or rather the mirror then told the queen that Snow White was now the, the fairest, fairest of, of them, them all. all. And, of course, uh, <laughs> beef started. Uh, she asked the Huntman to go, you know, execute her in the forest. Huntman couldn't. She eventually found herself um, in the Seven Dwarves' uh, little home. Um, it's some, a very at, interesting story. At some point... Everyone should watch Snow White. No, you, you should. Sh everybody you should. should. It doesn't matter how old you are. There's still a child somewhere inside uh, of you. J just to wrap things up with the Snow White story, um, in June 2008, uh, more than 60 years after the U.S. release of Snow White, uh, the American Film Institute chose Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs as the number one animated film of all time um, in its listing of America's 10 greatest films in 10 classic genres. Bigger than The Lion King? Apparently. Oh. Maybe they're in the same category. Who knows? <laughs> but another thing, you know, and I, I would quickly just throw this in. One fascinating thing for me about this whole discussion is how successful Walt Disney has been um, as a production mm -hmm. company since 1923. They have had maybe, you know, if, if you write a list of the top 20 highest grossing movies, Walt Disney has well, had them. a fair mm -hmm. share. From the Avengers to The Incredibles 2 to Snow White. Um, of course, the different Avengers. Avengers, Star Wars, and Neutron. There's so many of them that have made billions and billions of dollars uh, for Walt Disney. So um, kudos to them. Kudos you know, to them so indeed far. Yeah, for gifting us um, Snow White. Uh, we also had the Beauty and the Beasts. Yes. That's another beautiful yes. one for those who love animation. Okay, um, also today in history, uh, let's take on what happened in 1913. Who actually invented crossword puzzle? Well, there's been a lot of conversation around it. But on this day in 1913, Otto Wein, that's um, a Liverpool journalist, uh, invented the crossword puzzle. That's what history says, and that's what we're going, to, going with. It was published on this day in the New York World newspaper. Um, a crossword puzzle, for those that might not know, is a game of words where the player is given a hint and a number of letters. The player then fills in a grid of boxes by finding the right words. Now, the Liverpool journalist Otter invented it when content, again, content, they say, is king. Yes. The editor on duty at some point said, we need something to fill out our entertainment segment. And, of course, he chose to go back in history to ancient Pompeii uh, that translated from the Latin to English word as 
magic squares. There was a similar game played in ancient Pompeii, um, same um, a background. So they are very similar. Uh, but instead of being given the words, the player is given uh, clues. That's uh, basically it's the first ever crossword puzzle was published on this day in the New York World newspaper uh, by Liverpool journalist Otto Wayne. And uh, I mean, for those that haven't played a crossword puzzle in the newspaper before, oh, you're I missing have. out. Oh, oh it, it, I used to... I shouldn't say this on national TV, but I guess I would. I used to steal my mom's money Just to go buy newspapers so I could painstakingly draw them out it, as a kid. Unfortunately, we are moving away from an era where we still, you know, everyone still buys um, hard, you know, paper, pa paper yes, um, you know, newspapers. So, you know, that, you know, that little emotional attachment you might have to the papers might be gone. But um, it's still something that for everyone who was in that era from the 80s, 90s, you know, maybe early 2000s, who still mm -hmm. buys papers. The oh, I, I love me my hard it. copy books. I can, I, if I'm going to read a novel or anything, it has to be hard copy. copy. The soft copy <laughs> takes the fun out of it. Uh, I'm old school like that. <laughs> All right. You talked, you know, you mentioned content is key. Mm. And that's what brings us to our next story in uh, um, history. Um, today, also in December uh, 21st, the um, song Gangnam, Gangnam Style, Style was released. <laughs> so, like so a this, <laughs> it, 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 it made me start to look deeper into not just PSY now, but YouTube itself. And the reason YouTube started in the first place, um, it was by three PayPal and uh, former PayPal employees who um, one of them actually got you know disgusted in 2004 after the Super Bowl and um, Janet Jackson had a, a, a wardrobe malfunction and he couldn't find videos of that anywhere online and so that's how YouTube started one of the reasons YouTube started by these three people eventually not very long after I think in 2006 um, Google then purchased what they had started for $1.65 billion um, in just a few months after YouTube started. But hey, PSY is what we're talking about this morning. Yes, it he, 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 it's his day. Let's not give it to him. He popularized the invisible hot stance. Uh, I don't know, Gagnon style. And then another <laughs> aspect of the chorus that people like. <laughs> Hey, sexy lady. I don't know if you don't know, if you never danced to Gangnam Style, maybe you were in a different um, I century. I personally never liked it. Eh? I personally never liked it. Oh, really? I never, I, Initially, I, I did not. But when the rave started, everybody was talking about it. I just, you know, sort of uh, found a way to love it. It became a global sensation. Uh, though the lyrics are humorous, it was the video that made the song a uh, sensation beyond Korea. Uh, the pop genre at that time, K-pop, um, wasn't that popular. It wasn't that global. Yes, it was getting some uh, mileage, but it was this song yes. that, you know, that pushed them out to the global scene. Sometimes just do what you love. You never know what it's going to get to you. Yeah, and, and today, this is, we're talking about this because it hit one billion views mm -hmm. uh, today um, on YouTube, and it was one the of the first, first videos, YouTube it was actually the first video to, to, to hit, hit a, one billion, a billion views. views. And, and, and when, when this happened, um, I'm sure we were. Very, I'm, I'm very sure we were at an era where a lot of people didn't believe that a video would hit a billion views. Mm -hmm. What that are you watching a billion times Boy, <laughs> on a particular that's video? good music. I just heard uh, the one for uh, where's the film now featuring Lady Gaga. Uh, there is a song that they did for um, the. I've forgotten the name now. It also hit one billion views one billion just views. over the weekend. But now it's no longer a big deal. But as at that time, yes. Gagnon style set. The pace. Yes, it so currently. It's, it's an easy morning today on Today in History. Something fun and lighthearted. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Uh, the Gangnam Style hitting one million views. And of course, Crossword Puzzle. Go find one and play today if you have a minute uh, or two during your break. <laughs> All right, so there's a whole lot more we're talking about, maybe more um, uh, deeper conversations. We're going to be talking kidnapping, talking oil refineries, uh, you know, across the country and a few other things. So don't, you know, go anywhere. Go watch Gangnam Style one more time. It currently has 3.84 billion views on YouTube. You can, you know, add one or two. No, you know, I don't even know. <laughs> I never liked it enough. <laughs> so it currently Please drop has... a comment, let us know on our YouTube channel or on your of our social media handles what you think of this dance. Style. All right, we'll be right back to talk serious business.
after this break. <laughs> 